Hello and welcome to this series of instructional videos on Ecosim Building Designer V8i. And in this session, it's all about ceilings and the things you can stuff in them, like lighting fixtures and maybe the odd diffuser or two. So without more ado, let's get going on this. And the first thing we probably want to do is come up to our view navigation toolbar at the top of each and every one of our eight independently driven views and come to window area. After that, let's come in and just zoom in on this particular area here. How about that? That's great. And we probably want to do the same thing in our isometric. You'll notice that we don't have to click out of our tool. The tools are just dynamic. OK, one thing I want to do just to complete this is come to view rotate and perhaps rotate this down a bit. This way it will give us some context, which I think is always good. OK, with that, we're going to come to our task base interface, seven rows down in our architectural design tab. And this row is all about ceilings and what you can stuff in them. We're going to choose the first icon, create ceiling form. And our create slab by flood opens up. And before we go anywhere by altering any of the parameters, what we want to do is come to our building primary toolbar and select ceiling, because the active family and the tool is ceilings. But the part that can be multiple different types of ceiling. And in this case, we just want the good old traditional gypsum. With that, we're going to edit some of the parameters in here. And to start with, we're going to say that we want our ceiling to be half an inch thick. Hit the tab key, come down to tool offset. And in the offset, this tells building designer where to place the ceiling above the finished floor level. In this case, we're on floor two. And what we want to do here is we want to enter in eight, eight foot off the floor. Tolerance is going to be one. We're going to leave the allow holes checked. And with that, we're going to come into the women's toilets and we're going to click once. And you can see straight away, building designer is flooding this particular space. Click once again and it has set the ceiling, as you can see, in your isometric. So with that, we're just going to move our cursor down into the men's toilet. Click again. It set that ceiling. Move it into the janitor's closet, JC. Click that. You can see the ceilings are being placed. But now we need to alter a parameter because we're going to come into our corridor here. But before we do that, let's come up to our offset because we want to bump this up just a little bit because we're going to bump it up to 9 foot 6 inches. And with that, we're going to click once in here. And you can see straight away in our isometric, you can see where the ceilings are and how they've changed. Now, let's move it on from that, because what we're going to do is place a new type of ceiling and a new method of placing that ceiling, because instead of placing it via a form, we're going to place it via a grid. We're going to come across to our task base interface seven rows down to the ceiling and fixtures toolbar and the second icon in place ceiling grid finish the place ceiling dialog box opens we're going to have our ceiling type you can have grid linear patterned we're going to have grid our row spacing if it isn't changed already to two feet i would change it to two feet very good idea that elevation we have the options of space height active depth user defined or active floor reference plane because we have our space planning in place and it already knows the height of our ceilings, we're going to take advantage of that. The by is that we have center tile, center corner by point. We're going to choose a default, which is center tile. And remember, we have a new type of ceiling. So we're going to choose ceilings for our family. And under our parts, we're going to choose acoustic tile grid. Now, what we do here is that we're going to come into the office here and click on the space label, click again, and you can see with the use of AccuDraw and AccuSnap, we have enclosed, we have flooded that area. If you look in the isometric, you can see it very clearly, the grid there. We click once more, and we have set our grid. I'm going to come into the conference room, do the same thing. One click, two click, move it all around click. So there we've placed our storage, conference, and office spaces. We've aligned our grids up. Design-wise, this is looking very, very good. But there are other ways to place ceiling grids because not all rooms are the same, not all designs are the same, and not all design methodologies are the same. So let's have a look at how we can place another type of ceiling grid. Let's use our pan button or the press down on your wheel and your mouse. And we're just going to come in here and center in, to some degree, on our executive office. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to 
So with our by set by point, we can now place a new type of ceiling in a new methodology. We're still going to use our acoustical tile, but as you can see here now, if I select the space label or I come up to the extents of the space, select once, click left again, I now have the ability to place via point. And that gives me an exact methodology about how to do it. And using the clever shenanigans of AccuDraw to help me, I can come up here and choose this, place a tentative point, place a tentative offset, come down here, hit smart lock, do the same with the center here, tentative offset, and then I can bring my mouse in and now, and I can set this via whatever method I want. In fact, what I want to do is set this in a one foot by one foot offset. So I've done that. Click once more, and you can see now I can lock this in. There we have it. A new way of placing a ceiling in Building Designer. So I'm going to reset out of that tool, and I'm just going to pan down using my shift key and my left mouse button, and we're going to come all the way down this row of rooms here that we've just placed ceilings in, down to my office. And if there's one good thing a ceiling needs, it's normally a light box put into it. And to do that, we're going to come across two our tile space interface yet again to that ceilings level seventh down in the architectural design tab and we're going to come across to place single fixture icon click on that the place single fixture dialog box opens we're going to place by a point our elevation is going to be our space height our active fixture if we click on that jump box is going to be a lighting two by two fluorescent offset line our offset, we're going to click on that. We're going to say bottom left. And then we're going to click on the label of office like that. And we're going to place this into one of our ceiling tiles here. And then you can see that AccuDraw, AccuSnap gives me that level of control about how as soon as I snap to a grid line, AccuSnap comes into play. I can click once. And now I can just come in here and press here and just place these let's move accurate right the way we're going to place these and there we have it if you look in the isometric you can see that we have our series of lighting fixtures placed now that we've placed our ceiling grids our acoustic tile ceilings and we've placed this, a number of lighting fixtures in them there's one other thing that we need to place and to give guidance to when it comes to the design of our constraint and defined spaces and that is the ventilation of it and to do that we flex some of building designers fantastical physique by coming up to our pull down menu and going to building designer and dynamically loading our whole mechanical design subset with inside of building designer and as soon as you click and load that you see immediately we now have a whole legion of new tabs that encompasses the whole of the mechanical design workflow as well as the analysis of it and the one that we want is the top one HVAC grills and diffusers and the icon is our first icon on our first level there place top square ceiling diffuser straight away our place component and our data group instance data dialog box is open for us revealing to us the sheer wealth of data and parameters available to our mechanical designers they are absolutely amazing and as we are not a mechanical designer we're going to leave this well alone for this moment in time just to give you some idea of just the depth that they can go into when it comes to laying out their building information models for the mechanical side. We're going to stay on our place component, but before we do that, we're going to pan down using our shift and our left mouse button in our views to our office space. And the same is going to be said for our isometric. And as you can see on our cursor, we have the diffuser that we're going to be placing. Now we can change the placement point of this by clicking on this icon here and coming down to bottom left. And that's about as much as we really want to get involved because it's not our area of expertise. So now let's come and place the ceiling diffuser 